Hello everybody. Today's video is about the select statement which is probably the most frequently used statement in SQL. So I have a set of slides and I also have SQL developer running on my PC. So we'll go through some theory as well as we will apply that theory in a teaching environment. But before we start let me tell you that a select statement is an integral part of SQL and for that reason it is impossible to learn every aspect of this statement in one video. So we'll go through what is absolute and of course as we go through the other videos we'll learn about select statement step by step and it is important to understand that it is a data retrieval language the select statement is a data retrieval language you can only retrieve data with the help of select statement and a database would serve no purpose if the data could not be re retrieved or the data could not be retrieved in the right format so if you want to retrieve data from a database you need to understand a select statement and because that's how you'll communicate with the database so you want the right data in the right format so to start with it might look very simple but it is highly extensible and you can create extremely complex statements in order to retrieve detailed information from your database this extensibility makes it very complex it is also often used in conjunction with clauses and in the form of subqueries. Subqueries, for example, there can be several uh, levels of subqueries that can be overwhelming even for experienced SQL users. Because we will use this statement, select statement, very frequently, it's important for us to understand the syntax, the rules that describe how to how to write a select statement. So we'll start from very basic and we'll go to SQL developer as well to actually see this statement in action and then we'll go to something uh, with, uh, something a bit more complex that you're likely to see in your books so this is the simplest form of a select statement select a star from the object name this is an object identifier the keywords are written in uh, in capitals but when you're writing a statement you don't have to use capital letters you can use either capitals or non capitals this is this is very simple so this is a star or asterisk some people call it all select all from the object name and object name would be replaced by an actual object name in your database for example a table angle brackets represent an object identifier this is a terminator semicolon is a terminator it tells some of the applications that that are connected to the database that the statement is completed but you don't have to use this in all applications for example you don't have to use this in SQL developer that the application that will use uh, pretty soon instead of asking for all columns and all rows you can also choose to display selected columns so you'll write column name and column name and you can repeat this as many times as you want depending upon the number of columns in a table this syntax here select this is all this vertical bar represents the word or so you can choose to use this which is all the data all rows and all columns or you can choose any one of these things any one of these these elements anything within is simply the grouping elements together these brackets represent optional components so the use of a word distinct is optional but if you're not using this you have to use column name or you can use an expression and again alias is an optional component of the statement and again three dots means that you can repeat this as many times as needed object name I have described here so it's time for us to go to application our application called Oracle SQL developer for those who are following me on YouTube or on my website they'll know that I have 
created a connection called system if you just click this plus little plus icon and if you go further down there is a folder called other users these users these schemas have been provided by Oracle Corporation for learning purposes so this is a user that we created and most of these users or these schemas are created when you download and uh, install Oracle Express 11G by default some of these users are locked so I'll right click on this user or this schema and I'll say edit and you'll see that this user is by default locked and the password is expired so what we'll simply do we'll unclick this and we'll apply a new password and we'll confirm the password and we'll apply and user HR altered we'll close this and we will close this and we'll create another connection by clicking this icon here and the name of the connection we want to represent the name of the user in our example you don't have to the name of the user is HR and the password that we just used will test the connection success will save this connection and the new connection appears here I'll simply double click on it to connect as HR so the user HR is connected and in this schema there are a number of tables here so we want to use select statement so first form here select all from object name so there are one two three four five six seven database objects in front of us seven tables so we'll say we'll say select star or asterisk from countries which is the name of the object here name of the table and we'll run this statement and you have all data from table called countries the so country ID country name and region ID these are the three columns the only three columns are displayed but these are the only three columns in this table say so for example you wanted to see just one column only so instead of writing all or a star you'll say country underscore name which is the name of the column here from countries and you'll run this statement again and you have country name only one column out of three say for example you wanted to display all data from table called EM employees run this statement and you have all data from a table called employees before I go I just wanted to show you one more thing although select statement can be very complex and it can but it can only be used to retrieve data in three different forms these forms are known as projection selection and joining and I don't think I have much time left to describe these things so probably next video we'll discuss what is projection what is selection and what is joining so if you understand these things uh, this will make your life easier it will make it easier for you to understand select statement and also structured query language thank you very much for listening